Well, here we are. Here's the information that Lucas sent me from New Bidibi Prison, Reverend Lucas P. Dangatton Jr. And he sent it to me. Uh, here's my address, Hailing Close, a registered mail on the 3rd of December 2001. Let's have a look at the officers. Oh, there's, there's Lucas P. Dangatton. He's the president, one of the senior officers with the Trojan Horse International Teacher Training College that we were seeking to establish. Lucas Dungatton was the main man in Newbury Prison who helped my brother Michael. He was a former inmate in the prison. He was a highway robber and became a Christian within the prison. In 1985 he was released but returned as a religious volunteer and founded the Newbury Prison Theological Institute. He too was from Baguio City and studied at Manila Theological College. Here we have the teachers and trainers. There are 17 of them. If we look at the first one, there's Anthony C. Dolan. There's Edwin Tubira. Uh, there's William Park. You met him before, haven't you? Yes. Well, as you saw, Lucas mentioned uh, Romeo. If we look at the book here, Trojan Warriors, which uh, we refer to, on page 349 we have Romeo C. Dunos. He's one of the teachers and trainers in Lucas Dangatton's New Bilibid Prison Theological Institute. Pastor Romeo C. De Unos, he's a team member, and there's his uh, details. He was sentenced to death for murder, uh, and uh, he is in fact a teacher, became a Christian. He's the one that, um, who Lucas mentioned in the videotape a moment ago. He's the one that killed the mother of Josephine. And of course, he's become a Christian, and she's met Josephine. he's met Josephine in the prison, and uh, there are Christians now praising God, following the Lord Jesus Christ. So there we are. We have a testimony of Romeo Duanus, as Lucas mentioned, a former murderer who massacred Josephine's family in Baguio, now in New Believer Prison, and two, he had become a Christian and now a teacher. And so these two, Josephine and Romeo, live out the Gospel order in that day the wolf will lay down with a lamb, in peace, all through the blood of the lamb, bringing peace, the peace of God between those who were once enemies.